I'm not sure if many of you all know, but the third largest Hindu majority country, Hindu population country in the whole of the world, after India, Nepal, is Bangladesh, with one lakh seventy one uh, hundred and uh, one cross seventy lakh. Now it may be very less for Bangladesh, but where Mizoram the population is twelve lakhs, Meghalaya is twenty four lakhs, Tripura, Tripura population is fifteen lakhs. Uh, in uh, Garo Hills, you are already in <coughs> problem in Mahindra Ganj, Mehdi Patar side. In Jaintia Hills, I have so many of my Jaintia brothers and sisters. I know what is happening. I know how the people are walking in. And we have open borders in Bangladesh. Right now, Bangladesh is in problem. And if there is any problem in Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina is a friend of India. Her father was a friend of India. But if she is gone and she is not any younger, she's 78. There's an undercurrent of Jamaati Islami happening in Bangladesh. And if Jamaati Islami comes to power in Bangladesh, the first people who will be targeted, Chakma Bahu will say so, will be the non-Muslim population in Bangladesh. They will start coming because there will be atrocities, the lands will be Bangladesh has a land problem, and they will start coming to the border. How do we identify who is who? There is pressure, 1971 will again happen. And vote bank politics means the tribals of Northeast do not have enough numbers to even influence our own state like Assam. How will you influence the rest of India? So we have to ensure that the government of India understands that when the tribal people of Northeast are fighting for their land rights, for the political rights, for the economic rights. We are the frontier to India because we know how to defend our land. We are the indigenous people. And if you can protect us, you are protecting India. So the politicians may not understand that, but the bureaucrats, the IB, IB has a huge role to play in the strategic matters of Northeast, whether it is China, <coughs> whether it is Myanmar or Bangladesh. So we have to convince the IB bureaucrats, the officials in the home ministry, that if you do not empower the indigenous people of Northeast, you are creating a problem for future, which is an internal security problem to the whole of the Northeast and India as well.